ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಕಲೆಯೇ ಸುಂದರಾಕಾರ ಸದೈಕ ಪ್ರಿಯ ದರ್ಶನ ಅಜ್ಞಾನನಾಶಕ ದೇವಂ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಮುರಳೀಧರ ಯಸ್ಯ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಮಾತ್ರೇಣ ಜಿಹ್ವಾಂ ವರ್ಧತೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರ ಸ್ತಂಭಜಾಮಿ ಮುರಳೀಧರ ದೇಶಿಕ ಪ್ರೇಮಾಮೃತ ಯೋ ಮುರಳೀ ನಿನಾದೈ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣೇಣ ಪುರಾವರ್ಷ ಅದ್ಯಾಪಿ ಸೋಯಂ ಮುರಳೀಧರಾಖ್ಯೋ ಪುಷ್ಣಾತಿ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ನಾ ಭುವನ ಸಹರ್ಷ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತಿ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರೆ ತತ್ರಭೂಯ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಸುಪ್ರಸನ್ನೋ ಭವೇದ್ಯಸ್ಥ ಪ್ರೇಮಿಕ ವರದಂ ಭಜೆ ಮುರಳೀ ಮಂಡಿತಕರಕಮಲ ಮುನಿಜನ ಮೋಹನ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಸ್ತಪಾದ ಮನಮಾಲಾಧಾರಿಣ ಪ್ರೇಮಭಕ್ತಮಂಡಲ ನಿತ್ಯಕೀರ್ತಿ ತಂ ಪ್ರೇಮಿಕ ವರದ ಆಶ್ರಯೇಹಂ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಯಾಪ ಪ್ರಣಾಶನ ಪ್ರಣಾಮೋ ದುಃಖಶಮನ ತಂ ನಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪರಂ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಸದ್ಗುರುನಾಥ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕಿ ಜೈ ವಾಮ್ ಗ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಟು ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡೀಡ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಮೀ ದಿಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು the question that we will take today is a question that a devotee once asked shri swami ji the devotee asked when we look at the lives of the great mahatmas the great ones like bakht meera bai or badrachal ramdas on one side we understand that they were these great bhaktas but on the other side the kind of life that they had to live the humiliations that they had to face the trials that they had to encounter leaves us baffled and despite all of that they never gave up even a tiny bit when it came to their chanting the names of god or their practice of bhakti how do you explain that how could they be so adamant if i may use that word nothing deterred them she swami ji gave a very beautiful answer i'm going to convey the essence of the same to you a very worldly example a very lowly example something that is opposite to what we are discussing but something that lot of us can understand well is the one that we will use here let us say we take up a person who is addicted to consumption of alcohol does that person in today's world with a kind of exposure with a kind of knowledge that we all have does that person not know the perils of consuming alcohol especially if you're addicted to it the kind of diseases that he or she may eventually get when they exceed the limits pretty much every organ beginning the liver would be affected and it will lead to all kinds of problems every person that is an addict to this habit is well aware of it 
Not just that, what happens to the family of such a person? What sort of a humiliation they face in the society, in the community, in the circle of relatives and friends? They face all of that, isn't it? On one side, you hear it, you read about it, about all the problems that you will actually encounter. The body will suffer, the reputation is gone, There's so much humiliation, the family is suffering. Every well-wisher in town, from the closest family members to friends, to every well-wisher in town, repeatedly tries to tell this person to give up alcohol, give up consumption of alcohol. Not because it's going to do them any good, for your own good. But does that person give that habit up? More often than not, the answer is a no. Similarly, let's say a person has become an addict to gambling. Everybody tries to tell him to give up that addiction, but he's unable to, isn't it? Despite facing personal losses and undergoing all that stress and trauma and inflicting the trauma on everybody that mean to them and knowing all of it, they still are unable to quit. They don't give up. Likewise, when it comes to these great ones, these Mahatmas who are ever lost or intoxicated in that bliss of divinity, immersed in it all the time, ever chanting the names of God in their own world, unable to fit into this world where I'm a part of, Facing a lot of trials and tribulations and humiliations in this world because they are unable to fit into this worldly life. But are here in order to show us the way out of compassion. Despite all of this, just as a person who is unable to give up an addiction, these Mahatmas too are in such a state. If one can get so, so stuck to a vice, these Mahatmas, these great ones, have that sort of steadfastness when it comes to their virtues, when it comes to that sadhana that they practice, that nama sankirtan that they chant, they do not give that up for anything in this world. Nothing deters them. They are in that state always. Mr. Swamiji would put it, when somebody would ask him, how is it that you are so full of patience, no matter how much somebody pushes you, you still do not give up on that beautiful virtue called as patience. Swamiji would say, if a person can have so much of steadfastness when it comes to a wise, let's say a person is always irritating me and he is very steadfast and consistent about the fact that he is irritating me. Should I not have the same or even greater adamancy and steadfastness when it comes to the virtue of patience? So you irritate me how much ever you want, I will still be patient. I will not give my virtue up just as how you are not going to give that vice. 
to put it in a nutshell, that is the state of these Mahatmas. They are lost in this bliss and nothing stops them ever. Thank you.